Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best Warlock build in Destiny 2 Witch Queen. Now, this Warlock build is great in PvE. It can work in PvP, but it's definitely going to be broken during Day 1 Raid Race, so if you guys are prepping for the Day 1 Raid, I'd highly advise to get the right stat armor and this exotic to do this Day 1 Raid, as it's going to be literally S tier for ad clear. Maybe not so much for DPS, but still absolutely insane for high level ad clear. Now, essentially how this build's going to work is it's going to prioritize certain weapons and mods like every other build. For starters, I'm going to be using Void 3.0. The mods that I have on Void 3.0 is Echo of Explosion, Void Abilities, Final Blows cause Target to Explode. This is going to chain your grenades. Now, it's very important you have Scatter Grenades on. I highly advise to have Scatter on, as it works a lot better with Scatter. Uh, Vortex can also work. I wouldn't advise to use Axiom Bolts, but the thing is with that, Scatter Grenades are going to explode. So, essentially, what you can do is keep chaining kills with it, which is insane. And then I'm using Echo of Dumb Ring. After suppressing a target, you gain greatly increased mobility for a short duration, and your equipment weapon is reloaded from reserves that's good for the exotic that i'm going to be using and then the echo provision damaging targets with grenade grants melee energy this is going to allow you to chain melee energy and proc oppressive darkness and the new mod now after getting uh, echo provision the next mod is echo reprisal final blows when surrounded by combats grants super energy this is going to allow you to grant your super a lot as if you're running low intellect to get a double 100 um for stat wise i would advise highest recovery as possible Anything above 4 resilience is fine. Mobility and strength are alright. Um, strength, I if you have radiant light, definitely get that a lot higher. But for mobility, doesn't really matter on a warlock. But for resilience in a day 1 raid, you're definitely going to want it above 4 at least, or even around 4. And then 10 recovery, as it's going to be crucial to get your health back a lot faster. And then discipline, as this build kind of prioritizes add clear and grenade. So, after having those mods equipped, the exotic that I'll be using is the Eye of Another World. Now, I actually do need to take off because uh, I do have radiant light stacked on this chest plate, and that is bad. Alright, now I have four uh, strength. So, this helmet is an S tier roll. Um, what it does highlight prioritize targets and improves regeneration speed of your grenade melee and rift energy. So, essentially, it's going to buff your grenade speed and getting it back. I'm using a uh, rocket launcher scab, and then I'm also going to be using uh, rep, uh, rapid final blows with damage matching your subclass types, create an orb of power. This is good with the orb of power changes to PvE, so it's very crucial. And then I'll be using a rocket launcher ammo finder. So, if you guys aren't using the Austerity Striga, um, I'd advise to use Galhorn, but if you guys have a lasting impression rocket launcher like this as an example, this is good for DPS. If you have the new Witch Queen rocket launcher, I had one to drop. I think it's actually on my Hunter, but this is a great option as well. You guys can actually use the new uh, Witch Queen rocket, the uh, Polymer C. This one can also drop with lasting impression, and it's great for DPS. Um, for secondary, you don't need anything crazy. I'm only running a uh, funnel web just because it's my only one that I have, but obviously you don't want a double primary. I'd highly advise to use something like a sniper rifle, maybe like an occluded finality, because that does do a uh, good DPS. As it's a, it's not a, it's a very heavy sniper, so it's going to do more damage. Um, you guys can also use Salvenger Salvo. I would advise to use that over sniper though, depending on what part you're on of the raid, because no one really knows how it's going to work yet. But I advise Salvenger Salvo. Same with a lasting impression rocket. Now for the Osteria Striga, this is going to be really, really important. On mine, I have. Love the uh, perk with polygon rifling, steady rounds, and then toxic overload, hand laid stock. Now, I'd highly advise to get this thing leveled as fast as you can. Now, what I'll be pairing it with is probably a Salvenger Salvo. Now, for mods, for starters, make your gauntlet stasis. Um, I'm using a discipline mod with grenade kickstart. What this does is it's going to expand your grenade energy. Now, this is really crucial for a grenade build in PvP, especially or PvE with getting your grenades back really fast. I actually got these S tier gauntlets a while ago. And then, melee wellmaker, powered melee combat, final blows, spawn elemental walls, matching your subclass energy type. This is going to buff your damage and it's going to be super crucial. And then, on my gauntlets, uh, the last thing is I'm only running a minor discipline because I don't want to waste more stats, and that was the only way I could check on a double kickstart and then on my chest plate i'm gonna stack a rocket launcher reserves and then also a grenade launcher reserves or you guys could also run the thermoshock plating this is a great perk as well if you don't want to run grenade launcher reserves honestly you really don't need it and then you can also use um 
This mod does stack as well, actually, I forgot to mention. But you guys can obviously use rocket launcher reserves because you'll need that. But I wouldn't worry too much about using uh, the grenade launcher reserves as you don't really need more ammo. And then on the uh, boots, I'll be using a recovery mod with this mod right here, Absolution. Reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb. So these two perks are kind of going to chain together if you guys think about it. Um, Rapidly def or rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass types create an orb so rapid kills gonna create you an orb and then this is also going to um, Right here reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb So you're gonna be chaining your nades back and with the Osiria trigger constantly killing other adds rapid if they are breaking elemental or even your um Grenade launcher, obviously, because it would have chain reaction if you're using Salvinger Sava. This is going to be a great perk if they're arc and you're killing them, and it's going to constantly give you your abilities back. And then you'll also be chaining them with the grenades. And then for my uh, Bond of the Exile, I'm not using anything crazy, just powerful friends. And then I'm using Outreach. This is going to reduce melee cooldown, obviously, nothing crazy. But if you guys could also check on an overload grenade, that works fine. Um, the last mod that I am missing, because unfortunately, I haven't unlocked it yet, is the violet flow picking up a void elemental well grants your void weapons violet rounds these are going to grant your funnel web or smg more um damage and this is really crucial so it would actually chain with these perks right here um if you guys see it's gonna drop a i had it on my chest plate actually um so it's gonna drop you a void elemental well depending on what power you killed them with but this is going to be a really crucial build for day one raid this is everything that i'm going to be using what i have another world does is it buffs that grenade energy and all that so it's going to be really really good if you guys want an example of how this thing actually works i'll load into the uh, grasp of Averse and i'll show you guys exactly why this builds s tier now if you guys don't like let's say you already have a double 100 build and you don't need void aspects for the certain abilities you can obviously check on uh the one that gives you negative 20 discipline this one echo undermining but with that said if you don't have violet rounds i would advise to put that on but i'm super close to them like literally two ways so i'm not bothering with it but what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to chain your grenades fast and easy and i think it's going to be super s tier when it comes to day one raids and even just grandmasters and normal nightfalls it's going to be super crucial so with an example i'm coming over here let's say obviously oh. Like, if you guys watch the bottom of where my grenade is, when I throw my grenade, by the time this ad actually dies, like, let me find a group of ads over here. There should be people right here, boom. Now, look at that. I got about half of my grenade energy back. Already almost have it again. Now, why I'm using Australia's trigger is for this reason. As an example, I can keep chaining Devour as long as there's ads grouped together, which works really, really great. You also got to do remember the fact, though, like, that this build's very crucial. Like, look at that. That's two grenades in, like, literally 15 seconds. And I'm literally but I have it back again because of this build right here. Sorry if the game's a little loud. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why, but it shouldn't be that loud. Throw another nade. I didn't get too much back there because I only killed one ad. But what makes this build is definitely the chain effect that it has on other ads. You only gotta hit a few crits. Like, I'll group up ads right here as an example. Boom. Like, look at that. Literally just chain reaction, but on an SMG. But yeah, guys, this is gonna be my day one build for uh, the day one raid. Let me know your guys' thoughts. If you guys have any suggestions for the build, consider leaving a comment below. Like always, leave some feedback. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. Peace. Thanks for watching.